recent past, they haven't gotten too many chances to the team. But uh, they've done very well here today, so we're going to see how they're able to stack up here against Mewtwo King and Ally. Looks like Lila is the first pick. Something you don't normally see, but we're going to see it here going into game one. Yeah, and double stage collections can be a little different from, uh, from singles. And I, one thing, yeah, I definitely like seeing here is um, we had a Mewtwo King right there who was charging his limit and always looking for any opportunity to come out of that charge and get an attack. With a Cloud on your team, it's generally the, the Cloud will sit back, you know, charge that limit, get that strong KO options at his approval, or as arsenal, and then the, his other teammate, the Mario in this case, can run in and find those openings, get the grab to lead into the finishing touch of the side beam. Absolutely, and we see right there, again, we're trying to get back throws into, like, the lingering down air of Cloud. Down air is a very, very effective move, not only in singles, obviously, but extremely effective in doubles because of how long it lasts and the likelihood that someone's going to jump into it with only half a screen to worry about. Absolutely. Not to mention how safe it is overall in general. But there we go. First blood is going to be going to Ally, taking a stock off of Vinny there. Vinny eating that up smash. Dying at only like 117. That's pretty early. Absolutely. And we have 108 on Trella. And Cloud here does he have a limit. He got caped. <laughs> he got caped out of doing a Shuryu and a limit right there. A lot of big damage going on uh, from Mewtwo King and Ally. We're going to see how Trella and uh, Vinny are going to be able to make this comeback here with the stock down. That was down. really nice. Beautiful up here. Right there. He got gets oh, okay. Flooded, does not get off. He is able to grab the legs <laughs> on that one. That was pretty scary. Ally's out for blood right now. Yeah, he's going for whatever kind of damage or quick kills he can get. If he can kill Ryu below 80%, 90%, let alone 50%, you know, that's going to be an amazing big win for them. And that's really important, too, because on the green team, Ryu is the harder one to kill. Forward smashing both Mewtwo King and Ally. Wow, using that side beat to just kind of stay out of trouble for a second. Really, really smart play by Mewtwo King. We see Ally there coming over to save his teammate. He was stuck on the ledge. It was just great team synergy already coming out. Green team with a little bit of stage control here. Yeah, absolutely. They have uh, just more space that they're working around with. And we see here that uh, now we actually have uh, everyone for Mewtwo King and Ally's team at least having a little bit more control. Definitely controlling the center stage and uh, Vinny just kind of sitting back waiting for something to happen. Vinny baited out that, that side B from Mewtwo King and Trella came in and struck for the, the KO there. That's really nice. That shield. The green team is uh, looking like they're pretty much on their uh, last ropes here on the stock, but we're going to see if they're going to be able to kind of hold on to it and kind of bring this back. But hitting his teammate there, getting an up smash, beautiful play by Mewtwo King and Ally, holding on to Trella, not letting him get away. But the up tilting into Shuryu. reverse Shuryu, that was beautiful so nice. execution by Trella. I would always be so scared of Tatsu on yeah. my lap. <laughs> there goes Vinny's second stock, so everybody's down to their last stock here. Yeah, they, they uh, Green Team did a very good job of bringing this uh, early lead that uh, Mewtwo King and, and Ally had back here to a last stock situation. And in fact, taking the lead, as it seems, going into this last stop. Yeah. Now they're looking for some more cape shenanigans. Yeah, Vinny's just trying to kind of get out of the corner there. Does a very good job and applies pressure to Ally and Mewtwo King at the same time. Now Ally's off stage, gets back here, not going to get the kill. And Mewtwo King definitely has to go over there and help him out. She did. And uh, Cloud with the limit here, that could seal an early stock. And we see here Ally playing very defensively, just kind of jumping around. Hoping not to be in the fray too much and letting uh, Mewtwo King kind of take the lead here on the ground. Which is different from their normal strategy. Oh, well, but he's at 121, so he kind of has to do it. But a beautiful side B. Not going to be enough to take out Trella's stock. Up smash actually hit Ally. And, and then he fell with his up B. Wow. It's not a very good last stock for Mewtwo King, unfortunately. Good job to uh, Trella and Vinny for squeezing out that win despite the early uh, deficit. Yeah, they lost the first two stocks really early, but... They kept it. No, they kept their cool, and they, you know, they played it situation by situation. They said that, you know, it, it doesn't matter that we're down a stock here or there. We're still going to play our game. We're not going to just rush in. And you saw many times that Vinny would sit back behind Trella, let Trella kind of control the center stage and collect whatever punish uh, Vinny could on whatever blue team tried to present Trella with. Yeah, absolutely. And they did. They slowed down their gameplay. Green Team at and that the was start, I feel like, uh, was very aggressive. Yeah, and that was including Ryu's, uh, or rather Trella's, like, kind of, I don't want to call it an SD, but, like, that early kill that he got from whiffing the Shuryu. Yeah. And he was still able to bring this back. Once so again, maybe we'll see that the Green Team does keep that slower pace in the next game, see how it works out for them. Yeah, we're going to see exactly how um, Mewtwo King and Ally are able to adjust to what they saw here. 
Uh, again, like as you saw right there, we had a lot of really, really strong play from both Vinny and Trella. Trella once again just trying to kind of make up for his uh, you know, shortcomings early and go as far as he can here with this doubles performance. Very, very good stuff from what I'm seeing so far. We have both uh, teams here kind of discussing their bans and counter picks. Uh, judging that they went to Lilat first game, not too sure where they might want to go next. Platforms. Looks like Battlefield, <laughs> yeah. More platforms, more uh, more standardized, I would say. Both Mario and Cloud love having platforms to this continue is their combos. Yeah, this is definitely both of their uh, one of their best stages for both characters here, so it definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, not too sure what might have gotten banned, but going into here, a lot of big damage coming off the of blue team here on uh, on Vinny very early on. Everyone's below 10, and Vinny's already at 79. Yeah. Blue team being so aggressive so far and just landing all the hits they need to. Wow. And the spike. Both characters actually got spiked at the same time right there. However, uh, Vinny was off stage, so that's where that was really unfortunate for him. You just seem still yet to be touched until there. But we saw a deficit just like this one from uh, last game, and they were still able to bring it back here. That is very true. We have an ally going for a lot of these big forward air spikes, trying to get whatever kind of early kills he can. That side won't be enough to get the kill. But that down was a beautiful it. extra follow up just for that extra damage. But Vinny got spiked. Spiked and he got spiked twice. again. Oh my goodness. They are out for blood right now. Vinny is just not spending too much time on stage as a result. Vinny already on his last dock while Trell is holding on to his first one at 151%. Is he going to be able to get any big hits before losing the stock is the big question here. Because that's going to be a big deal yep. as far as how the pace of this match goes in the future. If he loses this rage without being able to take advantage of it, that's huge. Still holding on. Yuji King getting back, getting edge guarded, yes, jump. but able to recover. Got Beautiful both double sure you. There we go. We have a tie game. Just like, actually, not even a tie this game. This is so crazy. Now we have a tie game <laughs> right there. Unbelievable play by Trella and Vinny. When do you get ch opportunities like that? You <laughs> I swear you only see like things like that when you get to the top eight of the bracket. Trella got the, the uh, level three focus tech crumple there on Music King, but Ally was there to save him. I've never seen one match where there were just so many spikes and early kills. It's just an amazing display on both teams here. Both these teams are out for blood. They're fighting. So many players can, uh, you know, have a really strong neutral, but some of the things that lack might be their punishment game. But in this case, when you get to the top eight, you really see the strong neutral and the strong punishments all around. It's a really big part about what makes, you know, the top players who they are today. Blue team getting some combos on a Trello. Vinny had to be quicker on the, the uptake there to save him. Good save, but not good enough. That is going to be Vinny's stock. And, and Trella Trella's too. stock right Vinny behind it. Vinny took Trella's last stock after he died, so now it's up to Vinny. Up against four blue team stocks. This is not an easy battle right now. That Vinny's stocks this game were a big The combos! Deal <laughs> as to how this lead got out of hand. Using that blade beam from you to continue, continue it? Continue. Yeah. And he goes, oh Just my goes gosh. For it. Unbelievable savage play by Mewtwo King and Ally, saying that game one was not going to happen again. <laughs> that was ridiculous. They were going to take the lead and hold it in this game here. Going into game three, unbelievable play. One one. Honestly, great. That was great, so different from stuff. the first game too. Yeah, and they controlled the momentum the entire game outside of that double Shoryu. Yeah, they really did a great job there. And it was really because Mewtwo King was on the ledge and he kind of got up into the Shoryu. Can yeah, just an unfortunate circumstance, but really good uh, play either way. Wow, that was. <laughs> so platforms not working out too great here for. Uh, Vinny and Trello. Yeah. We're going to see if maybe they want to opt for more like FD or maybe we're going to see a Duck Hunt or Town and City. I would expect the Town and City to be quite honest if it's Town not City. already banned. The Shoryu you sure, will yeah, kill sure, very, very early. Exactly. Re but really that does like help. That you know, that helps Mario and Cloud too. And as I always say, uh, stage counterpicking in this game is a kind of double-edged sword. You have to hope you know, it's really good for my character. It's also kind of good for your character, but at a certain which benefits point, over at a, way? At a certain point, sometimes you do have to take the benefits out of the situation and just go based on where you are personally comfortable or where your opponent may be personally uncomfortable, if you have that yeah. kind of uh, information. Um, I would imagine they just might want a little bit more space to work with. You know, they, they got a yeah. little bit cluttered very early on in the game, and they got... Uh, Mewtwo King and Ally got very big uh, strings very, very quickly. Yeah, they took advantage of, of it, how the sure. platforms were laid out. Um, I don't expect Battlefield. I don't expect uh, a Dreamland counterpick 
Lilac can't be got, can't be uh, yep. used again. So we really are left with Smashville, Town and City, FD, and Duck Hunt. And we see when when Cloud's on a team, you know the team combos that he generally likes to do are kind of ping pong back and right. forth stuff. So it, maybe if there is a little bit more space, more space, they won't be able to continue all those combos like they did there on Battlefield. Yeah, I don't expect Duck Hunt. We're going to see Town and City in here, as uh, would expect here. Town City actually very wide on the, the base platform. No, it's going it to give a lot of room, but does give uh, Cloud the room. Platforms. Yeah, does give him the room he needs to get more limits more often. And already, he has it 15 seconds in. They're not letting uh, Trella even land a little bit here, getting whatever damage he can, saying, you know, you can get your focus attacks, but I'm going to poke you, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. Get the damage in, even if you don't get the knockback. Exactly. If you can get as long as you're safe with it. Yeah, as long as you're safe with it. <gasps> oh, Yo, that, that was so smart. Focus. <laughs> that focus was so clutch, and it, it was it really worked out well for him that the first any of the first hits didn't hit him first. Yeah. It it was skill. It was skill. <laughs> that was a really good play, but really fortunate for him as well. But once again, such a great start from Blue Team. They uh, really flipped the switch since the first the, the first game. Yeah, we do here. We have uh, Trella kind of struggling to hold on to his first stock. That will goes. do it. <laughs> Forward smash a little bit of overkill at 140, but is going to get the job done nonetheless. Music King here with Limit again. Uh, none of the green team members really can get KO'd at this percent, but it can do a lot of damage there. Get both members sent them off stage. Yeah, I think they're just going to try to continue this uh, kind of stage control they've been uh, establishing from the second game on. And they've been doing a good job even in this game with more space, just not letting green team kind of get control of them. That was unfortunate. Beautiful ally there. <laughs> okay. We're going to have uh, one of those grabs. You know what happens sometimes and you just kind of evaluate the situation. Yep. And kind of both teams stopped for a second because they weren't sure what to expect, but they were trying to give respect to uh, Mario back throw as well. Sometimes the best attack is just throwing your opponent. Or your teammate, rather. That was really nice from Trella. Uh, Ant or Ally had Vinny in the back throw, and it was going to lead into that finishing touch, but Trella able to get in there and stop the throw from happening. Nice play there by uh, can getting that grab, playing just outside of uh, Sheik's ranges, waiting for any kind of opening to get. A lot of teams really does come down to getting quick grabs while your teammate is nearby you so that you can get some kind of punishment uh, bigger than usual right yeah. out of it. The dash attack from Cloud actually taking out Vinny's second stock. And we have Vinny on his last stock here of the set. That was so... Those jabs from Vinny. Those jabs from Mewtwo King. <laughs> and Mewtwo King opting to go extremely high, not trying to mess too much here. Gets the up air and closes out Ryu's second stock, I believe. Yeah. You have to be careful of that ledge jump up air from Mewtwo King, or from Cloud, rather. It covers so much area and it's so strong. Mewtwo King finally losing his first stock. Yeah, he did an excellent job on that stock first. Not even just stock taking, but taking stocks, taking trades. Doing an excellent job all around so far. We have a bit of a scramble going on on the right side of the screen. Vinny offstage on his last stock. This could be it coming up soon, but he gets back on. Actually turns the tides and gets Ally offstage. Are we going to see a double Sheik edge guard? I would not want to be against uh, a Ryu waiting behind the yeah. Sheik <laughs> on the edge. Whiffs that side B. Oh, he got oh, Vinny. Vinny got too no. close. Oh, and Cloud didn't even die. This is not looking too good for Trella here. Trella has to play perfectly. He has to take four blue stocks here. They are fairly high percent, so you know, if he does land a shore, you can, and doesn't get That'll punished. That'll be it. Right. Yep. Very, very solid stuff. Good job to Mewtwo King and Ally for sealing it out and advancing from winner's yeah. semis to winner's finals to face off against uh, what was zero, it? Nairo, Nairo Zero, right? Amazing. I, that's What four other players would you expect to see? <laughs>